welcome back to Consultant's Corner. I'm Rebecca Britzi. This is my corner. I am a consultant. And I'm here to tell you today that you need to talk to your employees more. Nope. Nope, even more. No more. Okay, maybe a little bit less. We don't know what the workplace is going to look like exactly. Some people are fully back to the office by now. Others are nowhere near back to the office by now. Some are doing the hybrid model. And the truth is that going forward, it's not gonna be so much hybrid as much as are you primarily in-person working or primarily remote working? Either way, you need to continue to communicate effectively with your employees. Now, there's a lot of discussion about what you gain or what you lose when employees are not all in the same location, but I am talking now about more formal communication, the things that you have to share with your employees and hear from them. Have meetings, plan your meetings, and give them a proper purpose. Your weekly meetings should be as short as possible and they serve the purpose of maintaining action, keeping things going. Weekly meetings are to review tasks, to review activities, to answer questions, and to unlock any bottlenecks, to overcome any hurdles. This is about immediate activity. This is tactical. Monthly meetings are for the purpose of review. How has the last month been? How have the projects been progressing? Are you on track to meet targets? Did you meet targets on anything that has concluded? What has worked well over the last month? What happened that you didn't expect and how are you going to incorporate that in the next month? What didn't work out over the past month? What immediate changes are required for work to proceed? And what bigger changes need to be considered that you need to put on the agenda for the quarterly meetings? Quarterly meetings are about planning. Here is where you can review performance as a whole, not just the last month, not just the activities and their outcomes, and not just progress towards a goal, but did we have the right goal to begin with? Was this project a good use of our resources? As well as setting the next priorities. What do we want to see happen over the next quarter and over the next several quarters? The closer in time, the more concrete you want those answers to be, and the further out they go in time, the more aspirational they can be. You're also using your quarterly meetings to provide new instructions, not necessarily on the day-to-day -day and the tasks and activities, which come up in the other meetings and your weeklies and monthlies, but more so in project management as a whole and the decisions that will be made for the business. And what if you don't have employees? What if it's just you or just two or three of you and you've got that communication going on all the time anyway? Well, still, even if you're on your own, you've heard all about planning your week to improve productivity and better time management. Well, this is the same thing. It's taking that moment of reflection of what am I doing? What's working well? What's not working that I need to adjust? It's removing yourself out of the immediate of the day-to-day -day so that you can better manage the day-to-day. -day. And monthly or regular check-ins as to what am I working on overall? Have I used my time wisely over the last month? And what has happened that was unexpected or that's going to change how I use my time over the next month? If you're a freelancer, did you get a suddenly huge project or a new client? Did you lose a huge client that's going to make a difference for your performance over the coming months? What do you need to readjust month on month? And quarterly or at larger intervals. What are you working on? What are you working towards? And at this stage, I'm not so much interested in annual planning. As I said, it's more quarter to quarter or period to period. I'm not interested in January through December, just knowing over time what your priorities are for that period or what you need to work on or adjust for that period of time. So do this on your own. If you're a solopreneur or freelancer, do this with your employees if you have them. Don't get so caught up in the doing of the work that you forget the planning of the work and the review of the work. Talk to your employees more. Talk about what they're working on. Talk about what you expect of them and talk about what more could be done or what new ideas there are. And if you are your only employee, talk to yourself about it. Just not in public, preferably. I suppose. But hey, you do you. And if you're struggling with those meetings right now, if your employees kind of dread coming to meetings and you're not sure they're being that effective, check out my course on how to have better company meetings. A great meeting can be such a wonderful tool. It can be a great motivator. So use your meetings to that effect. And I will see you back here at the next video. Bye now.